welcome back to our slice up youtube channel and uh, she was what you are holding in your hand uh, it's uh, looking like a hand fan this is your hand fan this is supposed to look like a pyramid it does not oh, look like a pyramid you you are holding it uh, wrong right <laughs> pyramid should be a uh, shock point should be uh, up and uh, it's upside down pyramid <laughs> okay <laughs> Yeah, so we want people to live long, longer. Okay. So that's why you want upside down pyramid. Yeah. Population pyramids are very, very useful, and uh, we are going to show you how we can do that in Power BI. Today we are going to look at the population pyramid, which is a very famous Christmas tree that they discuss in public health uh, field, and uh, it's basically the age, sex structure of the population. which determine then population needs and the kind of uh, diseases that are possibly present within your community and not to do that population pyramid it can be you will be using a combination of tax and uh, the charts so first of all and i need to make sure that i write the appropriate tax for, for female population for instance i have done a calculation basically i look at all the population count for that particular age group and then i look at the i filter the data for what is the female uh, population count and then i times it by minus 1 to get the negative side of the population pyramid so that it can have a mirror image for the both the males and the females similarly i have created another uh, tax calculation for the male population this time no minus 1 because it's a positive side with the males so i got like two different calculation basically in order to do a population pyramid chart you need to select the stacked bar chart first and you can go to your population table uh like i mentioned about the dax query you need to bring in the both the male population with your x axis and your female population with your y axis make sure you get a setup like this and you can uh, choose your data labels so that you can display the percentages that are negative and a positive value and you got the male and the female population as legend as I, as i have by default we got both the on uh, buttons for both the legend x axis and y axis next you need to bring in the age group we have already linked to the dimension ages so i can bring a 10 year age group in and this can actually display the oh, ten oh, so actually uh, <laughs> you have selected the uh, bar chart but uh, putting the data in x axis uh, both the data uh, in x axis it is uh, transformed to a uh, pyramid chart right that's correct the, the, the transformation is happening because of the dax we did here the female and male population positive mm -hmm. and negative okay. values mm -hmm. and it's a stacked bar chart for visual so it comes like this into a single yeah and uh, you can use your um, general tab to get your title uh, you can name the give fx background colors and all the visuals so you can uh, give a visual border for it uh, for the charts and you can give a shadow so on so forth you can play around with the visuals and uh, create a, a suitable chart here okay so so uh, that should be two values so one positive and negative value to make this chart and that's the most important thing mm. in the percentages so it's all how you build your dax is the most important thing and what kind of chart you should use is the most important thing here yeah. mm. thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you shiva for showing uh, how to do power population pyramid in uh, power bi and i am quite uh, interested that you have used some neg negative values to build a pyramid <laughs> and and looking at that object uh, and pyramid uh, it's it's coincide so good and uh, <laughs> viewers thank you thank you for uh, watching our video and uh, give you a valuable comments thumbs up and uh, subscriptions
see you in the next video comment comment you forgot about the comment the valuable, <laughs> valuable comments, comments on feedback on give us yeah